Hello everyone, welcome back to my animal encyclopedia. So what we previously read is we read about mammals. And the category we did was we learned monotremes and marsupials. And so now what we're gonna learn about next are mouse-like rodents. So let's take a look at that. And then from the field, the tree kangaroo. Mouse like rodents. Rodents are not ordinary as their name sounds. They are an extraordinarily successful group of placental mammals for one thing. About 40% of all mammals, more than 2,000 species are rodents. They are found everywhere except Antarctica and a few islands. Rodents also have very interesting front teeth. Their incisors are self-sharpening. The front surface of their long curved teeth is hard, made of enamel. The back surface is soft, made of dentine. When a rodent chews, the harder, the harder tooth surfaces sharpen the softer ones, like a chisel. As a result, the animals in this group are capable of gnawing through and eating just about anything from wood to wire. Rodents are divided into mouse-like, this page, squirrel-like, and carry-like, based upon their jaws work. The mouse-like rodents include mice, rats, and voles, as well as gerbils, hamsters, gerboas, lemming, and muskrats. The animals in this group have two well well opened jaws muscles that allow them to chew and not in all directions. Lifespans for rodents are one to three years. Let's take a look first at the brown rat. They they are found everywhere except polar regions. They are five to eight ounces or one hundred forty to five hundred grams and they eat anything they can find. Before ships carried rats as stowaways around the world, this species was native to northern China. Brown rats have a keen sense of smell and are highly social. They live in packs and are known for their intelligent behavior. Next up, let's take a look at the harvest mouse. They live in Europe and Asia. They are 0.14 to 0.23 ounces or 4 to 7.5 grams and they eat seeds and small insects. This tiny mouse is a climber. It uses its prehensible tail and strong flexible toes to hold on to the nearest of the plant stems while feeding on seeds, berries, and insects. Harvest mice also build their nests high above the ground. Now let's take a look at Barberi's striped grass mouse. They live in North and Central Africa. They are 0.8 to 1.4 ounces or 24 to 40 grams. They eat grass, stems, leaves, roots, fruit, crops, and seeds. Some rodents breed year-round, but striped mice reproduce only during the rainy season when food and water are readily available. Females give birth to 2-10 to 10 pups every 28 days for 4 months in a row. Can't you believe that? Now, let's take a look at the fat-tailed gerbil. They live in North Africa. They are 0 0.8 to 1.75 ounces or 20 to 50 grams, and they eat insects, leaves, and seeds. Gerbils are native to the Sahara, where they spend their the daytime in burrows. At night, they search for insects when temperatures are cooler. Some live in colonies, whereas others live as solitary animals. Now, let's look at the golden hamster. They live in Syria and Turkey. They are 3.5 to 4.4 ounces or 100 to 125 grams, and they eat nuts, seeds, and insects such as ants. Golden hamsters are tutorial and show aggression toward their own species by chattering their teeth. 
These rodents are a food source for many animals, including foxes, snakes, and birds of prey such as eagles. House mouse. House mouse, I mean house mice, live everywhere except polar regions. They are uh, 0 0.5 to 1 ounces or 10 to 35 grams. They eat anything they can find. Rodents, especially mice and rats, have a bad reputation. They damage tons of crops and stored goods each year. They also carry diseases, yet they are important in the food web, both as seed dispensers and as prey. So mouse may look, mice may look like pets, but sometimes they are good helpers. Now we have the yellow-necked field mouse. They live in Europe and Western Asia. They are 1.2 to 2.3 ounces or 34.0 to 65.2 grams. And they eat grass, herbs, seeds, grains, bark, and tubers. Field mice also are also known as meadow voles. This species digs burrows where it stores food and where females give birth to their young. In the process, Field mice can damage the roots of fruit trees, garden plants, and crops. And lastly, we have the muskrat. They live in North America, Europe, and, North e and Northern East Asia. They are 1.25 to 4.5 pounds, or 0.6 to 20 kilograms, or 0.6 to 2.0 kilograms, and they aquatic and land vegetation. This species is related to the common vole. Instead of burrowing underground, however, muskrats dig into the banks of swamps and marshy areas. Like beavers, they have a flat tail that functions as a rudder. Now let's go over big, biggest and smallest rodents in our mouse-like rodents. From what we know, To look carefully. It looks like the harvest mouse is the smallest in our category. And it looks like the biggest one is the muskrat because kilograms are more than grams. I hope you enjoyed reading about rodents today. Follow me on my social media and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Goodbye. Until next time. Peace out, guys.